More is about an attractive young woman who decides to have surgery in order to correspond to the new beauty standards of the society. Our goal was to dramatize this by having the medical procedures performed while our character was fully conscious. The lighting played a very important role. First, to dehumanize our character by displaying her body as an object, and second, to maintain the mystery around the operation and the deformations. Filming her walking on a treadmill gave us control over the lighting and minimized the resources and time for a realistic work cycle. For the modeling process, I created a workflow between Beth, Freddy, and Maya to have the flexibility to change the character, morphing it as we needed. This allowed me to control each body part procedurally and then use the formula to adjust some specific part of the shape and draft them back into Maya. In order to preserve some of the realistic, natural details on the face, we decided to attach the actress's face from the live action footage to the CG body. So I stabilized the head from the original shot in Nuke and then used tracking to match the movement with the animation of the CG double. I designed the giant portals with the mechanical arms. The mechanical arms had to work on the micro scale and pierce the layers of skin without looking violent or shocking. We had a total of 16 mechanical arms in this scene, and the majority of them were visible in most of the shots. It would have taken a huge amount of time to have a clean and realistic animation, so I automated them. I created a Python script to activate, animate, and track the body with a single switch. Cyril and I worked on the most logical and aesthetic way to articulate the arms in order for the modeling to be linked with the rigging. I came up with the idea of modeling the complex structure of the eye procedurally. I used terrains in Houdini for the inner shape, and then I animated and sphere wrapped it. For the light ring and the color spreading all over the eye, I played with particles, forces, and lighting to give more motion, character, and life to the iris. We maximized our efficiency by working on multiple aspects at once. So while my colleagues were busy with the animation, I did the final transformation of the model by creating the FX for the final outfit based on Melanie Gillet's design. I came up with a customizable asset in Houdini that automates the creation of 3D intelligent knitwear on a geometry. First, I defined the type of knitting, and then I did different animation tests in VEX to build a less heavy setup. The last shot was challenging because it diverges from the artistic direction that guides the majority of the film. My goal was to have the city evoke the ideas of invasiveness and aesthetic obsession. Then, I worked to connect the exterior mood to the dimly lit corridor. The team also helped me by creating ads that were placed throughout the city. 